My heart goes out to so many people who have had a lot of medical workup, diagnosed with testing that was inconclusive or didn't really get to the real problem that was going on in that particular person. That leads to people going into hospitals and in the emergency rooms, too many doctors, and the anxiety just builds up. I want to make that go away. That is an overriding concern of mine is to create a uh, diagnostic process and flow that's straightforward, that's simple, that is conclusive. I want to get the information that will help me be of service to the patients. What does that involve? A conversation at our office, in a relaxed, friendly environment, a physical exam, including a neurologic exam, and then there's diagnostic testing to help me get the information that I can pick up on a physical exam. That usually involves testing of specimens from our bodies. Could be blood, urine, saliva, stool, hair. Depends on the particular problem. But we start the whole relationship with our patients out first with that diagnostic flow so that we can get the information we need to give service. We don't have a one-size-fits-all for everybody and the customization is pretty important. Each human being is a unique spiritual being that is going through a unique journey. And when I create that diagnostic workup, which is done on the first encounter, I want to make sure it's really relevant for that particular person, that it is conclusive. And the consequence of that is that my patients seem to say that they have less anxiety about what's going on because they can understand rationally, logically, why they feel the way they feel. And I don't know if that enough of that happens in other medical contexts. A lot of people go uh, in and out of different medical uh, centers and they get uh, routine blood testing, for example, that's non-diagnostic. And I can tell you that in the community, for people who have chronic problems, routine blood testing is often non-diagnostic. So with integrative medicine, we use functional testing uh, where we get more information about a person's physiology and we need more than just blood testing. We need, uh, like some of the other tests I mentioned, urine and stool and saliva, these substances may seem a little off-putting, but they give us a lot of information. For example, we know that stool uh, is 50% bacteria and that bacteria comes from our bowel where our immune system is located. So for chronic inflammation, you definitely want to get an idea of a person's gut microbiome, which can easily be done with stool testing. Another thing is uh, hormone testing, which is done through blood, saliva, and urine. That gives us a very comprehensive endocrine or hormone system uh, workup. That is not routinely done by uh, medical doctors or endocrinologists, uh, and except integrative medicine doctors often pursue that kind of testing. The emotional benefit of this kind of workup is that people, my patients, they tell me this. They say that they feel more empowered about what's going on. They feel less helpless, less anxious about the whole process. Uh, and they feel like with regards to prevention, they're proactive about their prevention rather than being uh, scared about any sort of illnesses like the scary ones, the C word, the D word, right, that, uh, that come up. Uh, instead of anticipating that that could happen to them because, oh, my mother has this particular problem, my father has this particular problem, I'm gonna get it. Well, why can't we assess risk? Why can't we assess risk of things like cancer or dementia or heart attack? Those are things that we can't do. I mean, we cannot predict the future, but we can make a um, rational, straightforward assessment of future risk and currently what's going on with that particular.